what's up guys welcome back to our youtube channel bk forex academy i am brian horton one of the owners and educators here and i'm here to show you how you can actually place a trade using your metatrader 4 or metatrader 5 on your android device now before we do that go ahead and smash the like button hit the subscribe button and also the notification bell so that you can be alerted for up and coming videos that we have for you to help you benefit your forex educational needs all right guys so first things first you're going to go ahead and download the metatrader 4 or metatrader 5 app in your google play store um, i'm used to metatrader 4 and i love it so i have that open here once you open it, it's going to bring you to your accounts tab in which it should be blank if you do not have a, any account. Uh, this is my personal account with BK Forex Academy, but it'll be blank. You'll see accounts at the top left and then the little plus symbol with the little lock sign on the top right. So first thing you want to do is hit the plus symbol here at the top and it'll say add an account. So you want to first. Well, there's two things. It'll say open a demo account. So a demo is pretty much an, a fake account with fake money. So the, it is like a practice account for you to uh, trade on with fake money. Uh, and then log into an existing account is the second option. So you're only going to choose that option if you have a personal account with a broker in which you have um, uh, created online, like on your computer or on your web tab. So if you've done that, or if you choose to do that, uh, all you need to do is go to your broker's uh, website, uh, whatever, whichever one you want, and then you're gonna create a login and a password. And so when you do that, you're gonna tap on that. You're gonna find the broker that you want. For example, let's just do Trader's Way. And then it'll ask you if you want to do a demo account, a live or a live to account. So if you have a live account that you created, of course, you want to hit live um, and you may have even funded it. If you have a, a, an account that you created already on your online or on your computer for a demo, you'll do that as well. And all you need to do, for example, is just put in your login and your password. But if you don't have any of them, You'll go back to that first page and then just tap open a demo account. So you're actually creating a demo account by tapping that. So let's do that. OK, pick your broker of choice. You can type in whatever you want and it should pull up as long as MetaTrader 4 um, assists with that or as long as MetaTrader 4 actually has that as a broker finder. So I use Meta, I use uh, Trading Traders Way. OK, so I use Traders Way, so I'm going to hit Traders Way demo account. For example, I'll type it in, although it was there already, but I want to show you here. So demo account Traders Way, I'm going to tap that and then you're going to put your personal information in. So you're going to put your name, phone number, email so that Traders Way will have your information. Uh, so this is fake information here. And then you're going to put your account type. I'm in the US. I just put TWECNUSD. So that first one here. And then your leverage. We have a video about leverage. So uh, I want you to go ahead and type in YouTube Brian Kenya Horton leverage, and it should pull right up. It should look something like this. Okay. For purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to put one and 300. And then deposit amount. Your deposit amount ranges from 3000 all the way to 5 million. So I recommend for you to choose a, an amount that is closest to what you're going to put in your live account. So you know how to trade that live account uh, when you're ready. So I'm going to put 3000. Now, going back to the beginning, if you have created an account on your website in which you already have a password and username. If you do it on your computer instead of the app, you can actually put in whatever deposit amount you want. So you can put in $100, you can put in 200, 150, 500. But if you do it on the app and you're creating a demo on the app, you can only choose from these selections from 3,000, 5,000, 10,000 and so on and so forth. Okay. Once you're done, hit create account at the bottom. All right. And it will pretty much give you all your information, your login, your password. So I'm going to delete this right after. And then you hit done. Once you hit done, it will take you to this page here. So if you look at the bottom of your screen, the bottom of my phone, you'll see uh, the arrows pointing up and down. It's highlighted in blue. And then now you see the candles highlighted in blue. So this is like your navigation screen. OK. 
So I'm going to start off with the arrows and this is your quote screen. Your quote screen. So you will see your pairs that they give you and start you off with automatically. For example, EUR USD stands for Euro USD. GBP USD stands for Great Britain Pound and the United States dollar. So you can trade those pairs right now if you want. Okay. And if you want to add more, because there are definitely more pairs, all you need to do is hit the plus symbol at the top right just like that, and it'll say add. And then you will hit ECN. And then here are a list of pairs you can add and trade, okay? So for example, I'm gonna add AUDCAD, which is Australian dollar versus the Canadian dollar, okay? And it will just disappear because it's now going into my quotes page. And I can just keep tapping whatever I want, okay? If you scroll all the way down, you will see other types of things you can trade like energies, metals, crypto, and bit ECN. Okay, so for example, if I wanna do uh, energies, I'm gonna tap that, and it will give me the option of, cr of crude oil, natural gas, uh, Brent crude oil, and so on and so forth. For metals, it will give me the option for silver, silver versus dollar and gold versus dollar. For crypto, it will give me BCH USD, which is uh, BitCash and the United States dollar, uh, even Bitcoin versus the United States dollar and so on and so forth. So you have all this information here, okay? So you pick what you want. I'm gonna hit the back tab at the top where it says add symbol. So it'll take me back. So now everything I added is now in here and uh, according to how I listed it, okay? Um, so these are the, the, um, the quotes that I can trade. Now I'm gonna tap at, on the next one here at the bottom, which is my candles tab. So this is my chart. You see the candles ranging back in time. If you see the, the, you can see the date at the bottom, which tells you what happened at that date. And I fast forward all the way to today, which is March 2nd, okay? Uh, at the top left, it says Euro USD. That's what chart I'm on. It says H4 next to it. That just simply means that that's the time frame each candle represents. So I'm on the four hour time frame. So each candle represents four hours in time. And every four hours, it will uh, form another candle. If I want to change that, all I would need to do is just uh, gently tap my screen. A little dial will pop up and you'll see M30. That stands for 30 minutes. H1 stands for one hour. H4 for four hours, D1 for day one, W1 for week one, and MN for one month. So whatever I tap, that's what the candles are gonna con uh, conform to. So let's tap the D1. And now it's showing that each candle represents uh, one day in time. So every single day, every time 24 hour passes, a new candle will form. Okay, uh, the next tap at the bottom I'm gonna highlight, that is your balance and equity tab. So it tells you how much money you have in your account. It will look the exact same in your live account. So whatever you put in your live account, it will look just like this. Remember, this is a demo. So it's showing that I have $3,000 in my demo, also known as fake account, okay? Uh, and then the next tab is your, it shows your deposits and your balance. So if you gain money, you will see that your, your money has gone up. If you deposit money, you'll see your money has gone up and vice versa. The next one is news. So there's no news to display. And then lastly, you can actually even uh, chat with people. You can sign in and get a, a whole bunch of information from MetaTrader. Okay, so let's go back to the first tab here with the arrows. And let's say I want to trade Euro USD, or I want to just simply look at the chart, okay? Euro USD, so I'm gonna tap it. I can hold on it or tap it, and we'll bring this up here. So new order, new order means that if I tap that, I can place my order and I can start trading right away. I can hit open chart. It will show the chart with the candles on there. Symbol properties and simple view mode. We'll skip that for this video. It's not necessary at the time, but let's hit open chart. And voila, now we're at the Euro USD. It says D1 at the top for day one. If I want to change it, tap the screen, remember, and I'm going to change it to 30 minutes, M30, okay? Uh, if I want to place a trade now, 
and I see that my marker is at, it looks like price is at 1.208 and it's kind of moving five, four, nine, and then five, four and so on and so forth. So I see where price is currently at. And let's say I want to buy exactly where that price is, or if I want to sell exactly where that price is, I would hit the top right page at the top corner. It looks like a page with a plus symbol right there where it says new order. I'm going to tap it. And now I'm at my order page. First things you see is market execution. Okay. So that means that wherever price is currently at, I can buy it or sell it. Look at the bottom here. You will see buy by uh, sell by market or on the right, you'll see buy by market. If I tap that, uh, let's do buy. For example, it says order is open. So now my order is placed. If we look here on the right, I'm already, I was 20 cents in profit. Now I'm 50 cents in uh, negative. So it kind of goes up and down, but I forgot to mention to you that I bought at a dollar a pip here. So where it says 0 0.10, that's a dollar a pip. So I'm going to go back here and let's go ahead and open another order. So I'm going to tap that plus symbol at the top, right with the page in it, market execution, right? Okay. And this dial here that I'm moving, I can set whichever, whatever amount of money I want per pip. You see how that, that is moving. So all I'm doing is tapping the plus on the right side. And then if I want to go, if I want my uh, money to go down, as far as how much I want to trade a pip, I'm going to tap the negative side. Okay. So for example, this is 84 cents a pip. So every single time the market moved just one, it will go, you will be in profit 84 cents. If it goes your way, 84 cents, if it goes the opposite way, you will be negative 84 cents. Okay. So you can go, you can take this down all the way to 10 cents a pip. Okay. So this is considered 10 cents a pip. So 0 0.01. So every single time the market moves in one way or the other, you will be positive or negative. 10 cents a pip. Okay. So that is how you will do a market execution. Another way you can enter a trade is tapping where it says market execution. And to give you some examples, there's a buy limit, a sell limit, buy stop and a sell stop. Now I really, really encourage you to look at the video that I created with live illustrations on what a buy limit, sell limit, buy stop and sell stop is. I have a break it down illustration on what that is and how to execute that. I noticed that a lot of uh, traders don't really understand the buy limit, sell limit, buy stop, sell stop. So I have it an easy, easy way for you to understand that very simple um, where, in which I take it down. So all you need to do is type in Brian, Kenya Horton and YouTube, and then just do uh, punch in uh, market execution or type in orders. Okay. So you will be able to find it. It looks just like this here. All right. So let's go back out. And uh, another thing you can do here at the top of your screen, you will see a little plus here. That's your crosshairs. So if I tap it, it says cross here. And so if I tap my screen, this is my cross here here. So I can't move left or right my page or my screen, but I can position my cursor where I want it. If I want to get a specific price and kind of look at it, I can tap the cross here again and it'll go away. And now I can move my screen. If I pinch, I can zoom out. If I do the opposite, I can zoom in and get closer to the candles. OK. All right. The little F button or the F symbol at the top of your page is for indicators. So you can add different indicators in which will help you to trade. So if I want to do a Bollinger Bands, for example, I will tap Bollinger Bands. You will put in your parameters and so on and so forth and hit done at the top right. And now I have my Bollinger Bands. These are colors here. You can customize your colors on that page. 
which I showed you. And I have green, so I can change it to blue or red or whatever I want. If I decide I no longer want that Bullerger band, all I would need to do is go back to the F symbol, hit the trash can at the top right, hit the check mark for Bulger bands and hit the trash can again for delete. Okay. The next symbol is the dollar sign. If I tap the dollar sign, that simply gives me my symbols for my pairs that I can trade. So if I'm on my current chart screen and instead of going back to my quote screen, I can hit the dollar symbol and pick whichever pair I want to trade. So if I want to look at another screen or another chart, I will go there. So I'm going to tap this here. And now it's loading up my new chart. Okay. Next screen is the time frame screen. So you have your one minute, your five minute, 15 minute, 30 minute, one hour, four hours, one day, one week, and monthly. So it's the same as if I tap my chart and this dial came up. I can just do that here. Here's just another option. Okay. And then we showed you with this last one, this last symbol here with the page and a plus. That's how you start your order. OK, so you start your order there. You can pick whichever type of order you want. A buy limit. You will put your numbers in right here. One, one, six point. So I'm looking at the blue numbers here. That's where price is. If I want to buy a limit, I'm going to put in a number lower than that. So let's say seven zero zero. Here's your sell your uh, your stop loss. So if price goes against you, uh, this is a number where you would put your stop loss at so that you say, you know what? I don't want to risk too much. So I'm going to put in a number here. One, one, let's say one, one, six point, um, 600, for example, that will be your stop loss. And this is your take profit. So if price goes your way and you want it to get you out in profit, you will put whatever price you want for it to get you out automatically. Okay. You place order. Now your order is open. So here is here it is right here. This one right here. And we'll give you a breakdown. So whenever price gets to your buy limit order, it will get you in automatically. Okay. So if you want to delete it, all you have to do is hold it down, hit delete order, hit delete. And that's it. It never got you in an order. You're never charged or anything because it didn't get you in an order. Now, if I want to stop this current order, it says I'm at a negative 40 cents. I would tap it. I'm sorry. I would hold it. And I would hit close order and it will get me out of the trade at that 40 cents, that negative 40 cents. OK, I can even modify my order if I want to and put a take profit, you know, so on and so forth. Or I can do a uh, stop loss if I want to modify it. And that's it. So I'm in profit now, 10 cents. So whenever it's blue, I'm in profit. Whenever it's red, I'm in the negative. So that is the gist of how you would put in an order on your Android. Um, I know that Apple is a little bit different. So we're going to do one for Apple as well within the next few days just so that you can get in a trade confidently. If you're new to trading, we suggest that you practice in your demo account for at least 100 to 200 demo trades. But first, you need to adapt the strategy. That's where it comes into place where we have a couple of strategies with our academy so that you can trade confidently. You don't you can think effortlessly and understand that you are getting in a trade in which myself or Kenya will be getting in. OK, so that concludes this video. I hope this video was helpful and don't forget to subscribe. Look at the link in the description for information on our academy and for our telegram so you can join us for some more Forks educational content. See you in the next video.